Fingers crossed, yeah. So um, that was my that was my introduction to uh, to this world. But I had no idea how popular the books were. Um, I was just I just sort of read it as a script, and I wanted to work with uh, both of these two uh, in order to sort of do the recast uh, when I was uh, when I was cast. That's it. I was in Los Angeles two and a half years ago. Uh, for pilot season, doing rounds is what it does. Um, and I got a phone call asking if I would like to go in an audition for a film called The Mortal Instrument. So I said, absolutely. I got the sides. And the sides mentioned his character, Jace, and they just, it described him as a cross between Jim Morrison and Spider Man. And I was immediately drawn to it. I was like, I love this. This is awesome. Um, I didn't really expect anything, like I sort of expected a no, as you always do in these things, so I sort of just left it. And then I got a call saying that they'd like me to go and camera test with uh, Miss Collins next to me. So upon getting that phone call, I, I read the first three books, uh, immersed myself in the world, again, left Los Angeles, just was like, you know, th that was amazing. I had a great time. Whatever happens, happens. Didn't really expect anything. And then a week later, I get a phone call saying that I've got it. And I thought it was a bad joke. Um, but it turns out it wasn't a bad joke. And I'm, here I am. It was a great joke. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. And that was two and a half years ago. I was a huge fan of books before I was cast. Um, I found one of the series in the bookshop, read it, became obsessed, and heard they were making it into a movie. So I made phone calls and emails to my agents asking how to get involved. And um, it actually turned out that they, they approached me about the role. So it kind of organically happened. So I didn't have to audition, um, which is a weird thing, because it's very lovely. Um, <laughs> very lovely, but very strange. Um, 
yeah, that was three years ago. So it's been a labor of love for three years. And then um, had auditions with J Jamie or Jace's and Simon's and um, kind of went from there. But it's been a long time. All right. Vamos con la primera pregunta de So I never envisioned myself um, playing a character when I read books. So I guess after finding out they were making it into a movie, I couldn't really see myself as anyone but Clary. And if I wasn't cast as Clary, then that was totally fine. I, 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 I don't know, I, I associate a lot of characteristics with Clary and myself, and there were a lot of things that I felt I could learn from her. But I've always said that um, if they were to allow me to play a guy, I'd like to play Magnus. <laughs> But Godfrey obviously plays it way better than I ever would. I certainly am. Um, well, for this, uh, you know, when I read some, when I read something, I, I selfishly read it for. Obviously, the script has to be good, but I sort of read it for the character that they like me for. And, um, I, I usually find with movies of this magnitude of big movies um, that there isn't a lot to do as an actor you sort of um, you sort of just show up and, and you know they want you to look a certain way and um, for this character uh, for all of us really there was a lot to do um, you know this is very much a, a, a big movie with characters that are pretty well developed so um, you know, the character that I play is very complicated and, um, you know, he's a, he, you end up finding out he's a gay character, which I think for a movie like also of this size was something that intrigued me and um, was something that I hadn't seen done before. And, um, and frankly, I thought it was a good script and I was available and um, I think sometimes people overthink things that I, I, you know, I, I like the script, I like the character, and, and they wanted me to do it. So there, there was really those three variables that uh, enticed me to, uh, to say yes. Jamie, you've been in, in franchises before. Did you give them any advice before programming? And guys, how was your experience with the character when they told you about big fandom um, stories? I never, yeah, I, I would never sit anywhere and give anyone advice, really. I'm, 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 I'm not really the best person to give advice. Um, I didn't, there was at no point did I sort of sit back and go, guys, you know, look, I've been in two really big franchises of the peripherals of these really big successes, and this is what you've got to prepare yourself. Because it's just, that's, that's rude. Um, and it's also, also I, also I have no, you know, no sway in anything really. Um, I did, however, you know, tell them at Comic Con to run, you know, and to be able to run fast. It's a crazy place, um, but it's great because for all of us, this is none of our first movie. But you know, this is this is sort of our, our you know, we're all out there doing something that we've never done before, something very different. This is for me the first time I'm playing the leading man in a movie. You know, that's a big deal. Um, so we're all in this experience together. We're all we all have you know a shared bond in that. So there was nobody sitting there on their high horse, I suppose. Apart from coming, have you had any experience uh, with fans? Yeah, I mean we uh, the three of us are now probably. Yeah, yeah. Uh, over a month. Yeah, I mean we did Comic Con and Wonder Con, which were crazy. Um, but we went on a mall tour in the United States where, you know, you just show up at the mall um, <laughs> help the people show and help the people show up. Um, and there were, we were sort of shocked at how, um, you know, it was, it was hundreds and hundreds of people. Some of them had, you know, slept overnight in these malls. And, um, 
So it was, you know, we've been sort of in, you know, it's, it was surprising, I think, to all of us how passionate these fans were, and, and so yeah, girls fainting in front of this guy, um, truly, I have that effect on people too. Yeah. I look like I'm sniffing her hair. <laughs> it's a nice profile. Thanks. I haven't seen that one before. Uh, yeah, honestly, my first experience with the fans is that I'm, um, you know, and that was my first U.S. like North American press day for me as well. So it was pretty overwhelming, you know, just knowing all the fans um, that support the series and the movie, and it was just so nice to see all of them. Um, you know, supporting us and, you know, just to, to see them excited to see all of us together is getting autographs, signing posters, you know, they were just so sweet um, and the fans are the most important and uh, I'm just glad that, um, you know, there's a lot of fans and they all support us. Um, tu personaje is, is gay. ¿Qué nos puedes contar sobre en el set? Porque, pues, te acabas de casar, muchas felicidades por eso. Así, ¿Algo, una, alguna experiencia que tu novia haya tenido algo incómodo con, con tu otro, el otro actor? <risa> que puedas decir algo, algo muy incómodo. ¿Y qué piensas también sobre el, los siguientes días? Porque vas a tener escenas muy sexys, muy calientes. <risa> 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 Well, uh, um, I did a movie about seven years ago called Trans America, which uh, my wife has seen, and there was a, there was a lot of, of that sort of thing, um, much more uh, explicit um, than what goes on in this film. Um, no, I mean my my wife is uh, my wife knows what I do for a living, and she knows what. Uh, why I, why I work and uh, when it came to this thing, I mean, for me with this film with the, with the whole gay storyline, um, and once you see the film, uh, it, he's sort of the least sort of prototypically flamboyant uh, gay character that certainly I, I I felt like there was an opportunity to um, have a character who happens to be. Gay, but not have any of the characteristics that people associate with that. Um, uh, I think if you were to sort of watch the film, um, there's really not that, if any, moments that you sort of see him walk in and would make the assumption that he was gay. And that was kind of my idea going into it. Uh, speaking to Harold, I just didn't. I, I think it's disrespectful to the gay community. I, I, I don't think it's necessary. Um, but yeah, I mean, certainly we have some stuff to do. And, but I, again, I don't think that it's it should be you know the same way that people aren't saying like, oh, well, isn't it crazy, Jamie, that you have this sort of love scene with Lily and like that you kiss and it's just it, to me it's not. Maybe it's because of where I live or my experience with uh, with people who are homosexual. But it's not really something that I find to be that titillating or that. Um, I, it doesn't. I don't think my wife cares. I certainly don't care. Um, uh, it's not really something that re really registers with me, um, and, or I think with a lot of the younger generation. I don't think it's something that uh, is that taboo anymore. Uh, so, but no, my wife doesn't care. <laughs> the, the check cleared, as they say. You know? <laughs> Hola, Andrea García para el programa hoy. Bienvenidos a México. Estamos muy contentos de tenerlos aquí. Bueno, eh, quisiera saber qué les motivó a visitar nuestro país. Y otra cosa es, Lili, tú tienes interacción eh, constante con todo el cast, especialmente con los hombres. ¿Tienes alguna anécdota divertida o curiosa que quieras compartir? Gracias. I don't know what was the most funny, the touring recently or the shooting, because um, all the guys that I've had the pleasure of spending time with on this movie are just amazing guys. They're they're lovely people, but they're hilarious at the same time. Um, yeah, I I guess um, on set 
you know, we would film so many nights at three or four in the morning when you know, everything becomes funny, even if it's not. Um, and so it's it's the constant making fun of each other, or kind of throwing food at us, or um, you know, like I don't know what other moments. We kind of just would run around trying to make each other laugh in the most serious of moments, which became quite funny, I guess, um, in the middle of the night. Um, and uh, our motivation for coming to Mexico, why not be to Mexico? Um, you know, it's, it, I've been here before. I came here with my best friend when I was 19 and had the most amazing time. And there's a lot of fans from Mexico, actually. You know, we, I'm not very active on social media, Twitter and Facebook and all that, but the amount of people that have um, sent out messages or from around the world, but a lot come from Mexico, and it's amazing to come, like it is to any country, to meet the fans one-on-one. -on -one. That's what was so amazing, I think, about the North America Mall Tour, is because you've had the most one-on-one -on -one interaction with fans. And um, with all the countries that we've been to recently, just meeting the people that buy the tickets and that are so excited about the story and the characters is the best part about this. And to be able to come to Mexico and do the same thing here with the fans is a blessing. And we're so happy that you've had us. It's not that we chose to come here. It's that you guys welcomed us with open arms. And we're very, very happy and, and privileged to be here. We're happy to have you guys here too. <laughs> Hmm. You are a movie star. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think it's um. I'm just doing what I love to do, and Jamie said this before in many interviews that it still feels weird to be paid for doing something that you love so much. Um. So uh, the names that I hear myself associated with in the same sentence blows my mind because they're they're people my age that I look up to and admire. So even to be in the same sentence or idea as them is is um, a privilege and is so lovely. But I, I don't I don't see myself that way. Um, like at one of the premieres, I had a friend that was attending, and uh, I we did our little welcoming speeches, and um, I just completely forgot where I was or. I guess what situation I was in because I like half ran up the stairs, she ran up, gave me a hug, and then it was really awkward because like the security surrounded us and people started running down and I was like, oh wait, I probably couldn't, shouldn't do that. And then she texted me afterwards and was like, I totally forgot you're famous now, I can't do that. And I was like, no, 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 like I'm not, I'm just me. Like I, there, I just, I don't ever want to get to the point where I'm a separate entity of myself. So it's, it's definitely lovely to be considered that, but I. I I don't know, I'm just kind of doing my thing. Um, but um, in reference, I guess, to your second question, our movie, I think we can all agree, is, is, is very different than The Twilight and The Hunger Games. Um, it's a youth adult novel series, so in that sense, there's that similarity, and there is a, a female heroine. Um, but ours is a love cube, not a love triangle. Um, I'm not defined by the men in the story. I'm never a victim. Um, what else? There's comedy. We don't allow the audience to laugh at us, we laugh with them. Um, it's not about vampires and werewolves. <laughs> they're, they're in the story, but you know. There are guys with their shirts off in our movie, but <laughs> they don't define the characters. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I think it's again, it's like it's like you say, me being associated with other actresses I admire. I think it is lovely. It, it maybe not lovely. It's it's cool and and an honor to at least be considered among what has been a pop sensation and a cultural phenomenon. That association is very cool, but it's so different. And we're not trying to be the next anything. I don't think anyone should be trying to be the next anything, especially when these franchises are still very prevalent in today, today's society. And I'm not trying to be the next any actress. I mean, I'm just Lily, so I think it's the same kind of thing. I'm trying to be the next Jamie Campbell Brown. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't figured out who he is yet. <laughs> um, I did all of the stunts for one. Um, 
fortunate enough to be out in Toronto a month before we started shooting to being the stunt guys and choreograph all the fights and I learned all my fights before we started shooting. We all did this, like all of us were in there together. Um, you know, that's some of the best, that's some of my best memories from, from, from working is, you know, the fight scenes where we're all just there at 4 a.m. We're all just like, we all just look done, like tired and wrecked. And just like bruised and battered and sweaty and hungry and grumpy and crying. And oh, it was a great time. Yeah, but it's, but it's like, and then you get into bed and then you'd be like, I got beat today. I got, I got beat, but I got beat with my best friends and I got beat with like the coolest people. And that's, that sounds like fun, you know? Why do this? Why do this job if you're going to have fun with, you know, the people that are around you? Hi, Lily. What's better, best to see to your, to your boyfriend? I'm uh, sorry that I'm not doing this in Spanish because the, the question has to be done in English and understand the thing. Uh, it's better to say to your boyfriend. Yeah, but, but I appreciate oh, oh. you speaking in English. Uh, no, I'm going to not answer that question, sorry. Uh, do you speak anything about your father? Because once you were young, you'll come. No, go home, man. Now you are. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.